Well, after last night's successful reactivation of the Zenith Chromacolor 2, and another console, the 75 Motorola Quasar, the one that's actually still made by Motorola and not Panasonic, or I'm sorry, Matsushita. Uh, or enough, though, uh, have them audio issues. Again, I just, I never restored it, I just put these things together. However, let's see how dim this picture is before, and we'll do it after. So. Now it does have perfect grayscale tracking. In fact, I never even touched this TV. The only thing I touched was maybe the focus. The contrast is actually turned all the way up. Uh, let me see, I popped in back to the future. It does get really good color, but boy, is it dim. Now, it doesn't look that way on the camera, but if you notice, it's, if it was bright, it would be blowing out the screen. It's actually quite dim right now. That said, I think it's fantastic color. In real life, it's real dim, but camera looks normal. Okay. Put on the send core, see where it's at, and try reactivating it, or more, to bring it back to life. We're in the Motorola Quasar. This is picture two. It's an MV23VCGP22. However, the prefix MV, according to this manual on the front, is omitted. It's a 23VCGP22, 68 volts bias, 6.3 uh, volt filament voltage. Uh, CRT numbers of an extra prefix. They said a common example is the prefix MV. So yeah, you admit that and you read that. So I was looking through it, I'm like, I can't find it. Well, that's why I can't find it. Okay, here we go for yet another test. Things set up. Power is on uh, filament volts. That's on 6.3. Heaters should be coming up. There they are. I know it takes some time to warm up, but it's just on. Um, here, the cathode, sure it's good. Let's see what we can do here with the color. Uh oh. Uh oh. I got all three cranked, and I'm not getting anything. <laughs> this tube is dead. And I mean, you know what I'd love to see was my first vintage television, which was a 1975 Sears. It was even, it was way dimmer than this. I'll to see how weak that is. Yeah, I got all three cutoff levels cranked. This is going to be exciting here. Well, here we go. Oh yeah, raised heater voltage here. It says it's ready. We'll do the red gun and go. 
Now, since I did this in the previous video, all you do, I'll just do one gun and cut it off. Uh, it's 30 seconds. Going to a little chart here. I'm willing to try restoration. Start off on low if I get that far. So I like to see where this ends up. This TV is like near dead. Will I be able to revive it? I just performed the blue gun. Now let's see where we're at here. Uh oh, uh oh. Don, 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 don. This tube is toast. Looks like reactivate won't do it. It brought it up some, but not a lot. Let's see how our low tracking is. Eh, it did. Well, we're gonna have to do. Um, I'm gonna try low reactivation. This one's only for two seconds, 40 milliamp current. So put this, where am I at? Okay, nothing to lose here. And go. Okay. Watch the meter up there and go. That the blue gun came back somewhat. Hmm, I'm gonna try hitting it one more time on low, and if it doesn't help, I'm gonna hit it with uh, normal restoration. Now, nope, I'm gonna go up another setting. I mean, the tube's toast, and if it's able to recover, great. If it's Damages it, I'll hunt for a new tube, that's all.